Hey guys, I am Pranita Reddy from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today in this video, we will go through uh, the overview of uh, Application Integration Console. So let's get started. The agenda for this video would be introduction and a quick overview of components that are present in CI Console. We'll have a, just a quick screen share explanation and summary. First, let's dive into what is Application Integration Console. So just like how you can see here in the picture, this is a chiclet that you will use to navigate to application integration console. Just like you have monitor page for uh, data integration, uh, you have CI console for application integration. It is basically a monitoring page, just like normal monitor chiclet, but this has more capabilities and configurations. For example, not just monitoring your processes, not just monitoring your uh, job runs, but what you can do is you can also configure server and logging properties, uh, be it on cloud, be it on agent. You can handle both. And you can also schedule processes uh, again on cloud or on local secure agent. You can also deploy assets that is from process developer in the form of a BPR file into uh, application integration from CI console. And you can also, uh, just like monitoring, you can also, just like monitoring your jobs, right? you can also monitor uh, process server health and performance. You get all the analytics and all, okay? And not just this much, uh, AI console is not just limited to this much. We have many more capabilities for that. And to know one by one, we'll quickly go into a screen share session. Once you log into IICS, you will navigate, you will get to the home page. You just have to go to application integration console. Uh, we'll wait for it to load. Okay. Usually what is application integration console? Just like I told, it provides options to monitor and manage your processes, be it running on cloud, be it running on agent. That is your local secure agent. So once we will one by one go through all the components here, okay. Uh, first is process. So what is this process? Here, the process is nothing but whatever your processes have run. You can just monitor those runs here. You have all both the options, cloud or any other secure agent. You can check for cloud runs. You can also check for agent runs. These are all the agents. If this is, so one thing you may have doubt, why are these grayed out? There are some agents that are grayed out, right? That is because the process server may not be up and running in that agent. That is the reason why it will be grayed out. If the process server is up and running, you will just see that as an active path and you can just go to that to see the process runs. In process, in this page, it is pretty much this much. You just have an option, filter option where you can filter you can add any filter like you can give name and search you can give the status and search just like that now once we will quickly go to guides second one is our guides here so what is this guides this guides page uh, this will uh, provide you a list of guides that are run it's just like processes this is a monitoring page for guides so this includes guides that are completed successfully, completed with a fault and also guides that are still running. Same like processes page, pretty much similar. Okay, same, you don't have any much configurations in this page, you just have a filter option, you can see. Uh, next, we will go to APIs. So what is this APIs? Uh, this APIs page, uh, this will usually show you all the APIs of the published processes whatever process are published here you will see that uh, in the api's format and for each and every process you will see both rest and soap url okay uh, this is same just the for example if you check for this process and go to property details in normal application integration page whatever you see in the property details right rest endpoint rest service url and soap service url the same is given here it will also show you the location and the status of the APIs okay and you also have an option to activate and deactivate the APIs here um, 
you nothing you just have to click on activate you just have to select this click on activate or click on deactivate this is for activating and deactivating next and one more thing you again same like process you also have an option to navigate to an agent or also check for that process now we will go to connections page in connections let it just load i'll show you so connections is basically this page where it shows a list of all the event sources that is all your listener based connections that have been published on a secure agent uh, and it will also show you the status location and all that um, here again you can see both cloud and agents okay and here one more thing i'll show you is you can you also have a start stop option that is you can start or stop the listener from here itself for example now i've navigated to the agent right so here it will show you all the listener connections so these are my listener connections and i also if you click on this i also have an option to start and stop the listeners so if you stop the listener the listener will be stopped and whenever anything lands up in that particular place it will not be picked up that is event based is stopped okay and next we'll go to process schedules as you know process schedules is nothing just like a similar a uh, structure like schedules on administrator page that schedules is for cdi jobs but this is for ci processes it is just to uh, process, uh, schedule your processes on a timely basis you can schedule for example you can schedule both people process and ipd processes again anything that come that lists under agent are the agent processes anything that lists under cloud are the cloud processes if you go to agent and if you want to schedule a cloud process that will not list up there for that you have to navigate to the cloud server only here just normal uh, here this is the adding that is creating a new schedule button you will in here you will get all the options to uh, schedule which process Uh, what is the frequency of that process and what else pretty much that you'll get all these options to schedule okay and here again once the schedules are created just like any other you'll also have an option to delete and all that and one more thing here is uh, this also helps you to once created you can also modify the schedules pretty much this is about the process schedules uh one next thing we'll go to is logs so what is logs here this logs page will show you uh all the server logs and deployment logs okay on cloud you will only be able to see deployment log but on if you select agent you'll also be able to see the server logs okay deployment logs is nothing but will show you a list of all the uh bpa files that are deployed uh beat uh old one new one anything that are deployed will be seen here if you see the same name you have multiple bprs it will show you who it is published by who made the change and all that this is basically like a like the same log section in our administrator page when you go to agent you have when you select agent you have additional option called server log so what is the server log server log is nothing but uh, it captures everything that occurs on server for any troubleshooting issues you can just navigate here and see what the problem is so here everything for each event it includes time problem everything like where is the problem which service is causing the problem and all of this pretty much this in this uh, you also have a filter option you can just filter it via logging levels you can filter it based on the time frame you can filter it on the engine service and all that next we'll quickly go to service configuration so what is service uh, server configuration sorry what is server configuration in server configuration is nothing but you have this uh, multiple properties uh, where you can enable system services like alert servers email servers and all that you can also enable uh, queues listeners uh, any types of queues you can manage storage here a new dispatch queue can be set dispatch queue modifications so basically all your server configurations how it needs to work uh what is the li limit uh, to set anything like receiving queues dispatch queues all that 
that is all on this server configuration page later we'll go to deployed assets so what is uh, in under this deployed assets right you can view and manage all the contributions deployed processes on this particular uh, agent be it cloud agent or a local secure agent you can do that so basically here you have an option to this deploy this deploy you can deploy a bpr file that is what i told you from process developer the deep bpr file you can deploy it here and in contributions you will see all the contrib i mean what all are there in that particular agent or on the cloud server be it any process all the contributions will be listed here with the versions and with the state online is it is working offline is it is not working so you will have to make it online for it to work okay and one more thing is deployed process what is deployed process this is all the same again all the processes it will show you only the processes here all these processes which are deployed with the version detail everything uh next one is the resources tab in the resources tab you can see uh, what is the resource this is basically it will be in all forms of like the dot xmls you can see the resource type you can see the versions here and that and here again indexed properties you are in mappings this all can be done the you are in mappings basically for any database connections for any dash connections that you are using you can do the you are in mapping and anything as such can be taken care in the deployed assets page next we will go to process server health so what is process server health one thing is process server health is nothing for cloud okay because process server is not in cloud it's an agent so for to view the details you must select an agent okay uh, so when you open you have three performance alerts and statistics performance as you can see overall performance data uh, the performance and throughput of the requests coming in uh, you can see the bottleneck you can see all these diagrams you can use what is the jvm memory usage cpu again this is same like that ops inside page where you can see this right same the additional thing is you will in detail see what is the work manager properties what is the in memory process all that you will be able to see and in the alerts tab uh, you can here you see all the alerts that are triggered by server statistics monitoring thresholds that is if an error or warning occurs there is an alert that is sent so it, this is that alerts page where you can see everything and the next tab you have is statistics and in the statistics page in the statistics page uh, you can mon uh, i mean you will view all the monitoring properties that you have configured or if you're not configured anything specifically all the default can be seen here this is basically your process health statistics like um, what is the count of the faulted process what is the time to uh, obtain a process everything will be given it gives a detailed analysis of all the statistics okay now the last one will be the uh, process metrics in this section so in process metrics what you can see is you begin you can view metrics for alarm queues and receive queues so what is alarm queues in this queue uh, it lists all the alarms that are set in alert queue which are organized by the process you can see all that here and what is uh, receive queue this is basically the metric section okay so uh, next what in the receive queue same like alarm queue uh, you can view all the receives i mean yeah you can see all the active receives in this so this same again cloud agent same story and this is basically how uh, ai console is uh, this is an overview of the ai console just like i told ai console is nothing but a monitor page like cdi jobs with a few additional configurations and capabilities okay uh, i think that's all for now we will move on to summary in the summary right we will provide your product documentation link in the description below you can just refer to that for any information on application integration console and i hope you like this video and we would love to hear feedback from you please reach us on our email that is support videos at informatica.com or please do tweet on our twitter handle infasupport thank you